I'll call on the observer for the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Madam President, Excellencies, I would like to thank you for convening this important meeting. As an intergovernmental organization that brings together 34 member states dedicated to strengthening democracy, International IDEA strongly supports parliamentary development and cooperation as a key component of this endeavor, affirming the importance of legislatures in advancing peace and security sustainable development and human rights. International IDEA is committed to peer-to-peer -peer collaborative experience ex sharing through global and cross-regional dialogues, as well as capacity development initiatives. The effectiveness of parliamentary processes and institutions in terms of representation, oversight, lawmaking, debating, and budgetary processes is central to the assessment of the quality of democracy as is reflected in our Global State of Democracy reports. Since 2019, IDEA has implemented Inter Pares, the European Union's flagship program for parliamentary strengthening, which to date facilitates 15 partnerships between EU member state parliaments and partner parliaments around the world, supporting the partners' development priorities. This includes the Sustainable Development Goals, as the Agenda 2030 foresees the an essential role of national parliaments for the effective implementation of these commitments. The Interparliamentary Union is a valued partner of the Interparis program, in which IDEA and the IPU work closely together in the implementation of common priorities. These include parliamentary innovation through digital technology and the development of indicators for democratic parliaments enabling parliaments themselves to assess and enhance their fundamental role as quintessential institutions for democratic governance. This approach to parliamentary strengthening also demonstrates the value of a coordinated approach in which the capacities and commitments of EU member state parliaments are leveraged to support parliamentary strengthening globally. Such a collaborative approach provides an excellent model for addressing key policy areas relevant to the action of the UN, such as gender equality and climate change. IDEA is also involved in supporting parliaments through its regional and country offices around the world. At times, we face setbacks of democratic transitions, and parliaments and elected MPs are often among the first targets of anti-democratic reversals. In Myanmar, for instance, a parliament was democratically elected in 2020, but was prevented from convening by a military coup. Dozens of elected MPs have been persecuted, and many were forced to flee or hide. The parliament has continued to function under extra extraordinarily difficult circumstances. The IPU and many parliaments around the world have played a critical role in supporting Myanmar's legitimate elected representatives. This highlights the continued importance of providing protection and assistance to parliaments and MPs under threat, and we are grateful for the IPU's leading and principled role in this regard. International IDEA has been and will remain an active participant in this collective effort. Madam President, IDEA will continue to partner with the IPU in support of the advancement of UN agendas. We will focus on contributions to parliamentary development, political participation and representation, electoral processes, gender equality and inclusion, as well as constitution building. IDEA values its partnership with the IPU based on shared commitments to fostering the values of democracy in multilateral fora like the UN. We will therefore further enhance our joint advocacy work and regular consultations on the democratic governance dimensions in the Agenda 2030, and in particular, transparent, effective, and accountable institutions. I thank you, Madam President.
I thank uh, the Observer for International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. 